What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter, and I don't really need an intro today. This is one of the most people who everybody asks me, Truth, you gotta get Memo 600 on the platform. I was working hard for this. I was lucky enough he was in a good mood to give me an opportunity to speak to him. Now, for the people who don't know what's going on, you'll tell them exactly what your name is and where you're from, Legend. Yo, I'm Memo 600, man. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, man. No rapper in my city, man. 5960 became dry all up and down. Now you know what's going on. Uh, now, before we start, Memo, I kind of want to, you know, before we run into that, I want to pinpoint something real quick. You said 59. Is that known as what I look on the internet and I do like my homework? Because I'm a real street reporter. That's like the 600 area. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You say King Drive. Ain't that like Steve Drive? Mm -hmm. So they had a lot of love for your brother, right? For sure. Mm -hmm. To rename that community after him. Yeah, he was just cool, dude. That's mm -hmm. all. You know, before we get into that, I want to ask you, how was it growing up on the south side of Chicago? Because the internet focused on y'all neighborhood more than it focused on a lot of neighborhoods on the internet. First of all, everything used to be fun back in the day. This shit just really, I'd say like, nah, eight, nine, really started spicing up the wood, got dangerous. Six, seven, eight, up to nine, ten. It was cool, you know. Was that the rap shit that kind of did that? Yeah, for sure it was. Mm. Remember when the rap shit came, I asked a lot of people this. I want to ask you, you're the perfect person to ask this. Did you just wake up and everybody was famous? Or did you see it coming slowly? I saw it coming slowly because I hung around. Like I used to li actually live next door to Chief. Well, y'all know I'm a Chief Keeper, but Sosa. I used right. to live next door to Sosa on 61st of Michigan. I saw him upcoming from a long time getting up there. I saw Dirt upcoming a long time getting up there. But you didn't see this. You didn't think they was going to be this gigantic. No, I uh, believed in them, though. Right. I didn't see it, actually, but I believed in them. You know, Memo, the, the internet, you know, portrays the area where you from as very aggressive. It's a lot of people from your community that became drill rap legends and shit like that. Um, is it weird that you see videos on the internet about you and people you know? Are you used to it by now? People I know actually, what, I actually don't understand what you're saying. Okay, like, it's it videos weird? all on the internet about, what about us, 600, uh, Boss Moose 600. What about it though? Are you irritated seeing videos about your community? Do you feel like the internet what is... What kind of videos? Community? Positive, negative, Negative, music. positive, any kind of video. I mean, positive is good. Music videos is good. But the negative, they don't know us to even explain it. Like, how could you wake up every day and say, Oh, yeah, Memo 600 <laughs> this. Or Memo said, how do you know this? Right. We don't even know half the shit y'all be saying on these apps. Not you specifically. No, I get like, what you're saying. Y'all be saying on these blog sites. I be confused like, damn. Y'all teach me shit that mm -hmm. I know in the hell well ain't true. But. You, you know what? You kind of just fucked my head over that. It do be like a lot of fake stories on the internet shit. Have any of those stories made you hot? All that shit make me hot. All that shit make me hot. That's crazy. You know, I don't even want to beat around the bush, man. I kind of want to jump right into it. They know you on Truth Teller TV. You know, the fans geeked as hell. I can feel the energy through the camera. They like Truth, let's start. I kind of want to start with you. You dropped one of the hottest records in Chicago called Steppers. Mm -hmm. Even had to dance with that shit. I seen some of the enemies dancing to that shit, you know? Mm -hmm. Did that, was that the beginning of the problem with Memo 600? Did that song bring, you know, a little jealousy and shit? No, oh, it was the up, the, it was the up, the rising. The more big I got, that's what brought the more jealousy. Even in the neighborhood and shit? Because yeah. I seen you starting to get into it with people you're new to. Yeah, because there's certain people like, I ain't gonna say no names, but certain people I hung with every day that I had with me, they expected me to like, I I see you get on. Whoop, whoop. I want to be on. Just, they want to do this. Hacker, both of us do this, and I'm barely doing that. Mm -hmm. What? How about I get there and I pull you up there with me, type shit? You know, right. some people can't wait. They just ah oh, attack. I want to get there. How you get there? If I can see if you had the talent and the what they want, 
I'm what they want. I ain't being selfish and shit. We could do. I tried it. I tried. It. Let's do it together. Right. I, and it was crashing me, low key. So I, you know. But on young. You gotta lose a couple friends the game. I ain't gonna lie. Did you? Did, did, did Steph was helping you though? That's what kind of popped you off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you was rapping before stuff was, but yeah. that's the song that kind of did it. Yeah, because they saw I could get like commercial, different type of shit. When that song dropped, you had to move different. Uh -huh. Hoodies on, face masks. No, that's how I got shot. I wasn't moving different. I was still me. You know what? That is in my question now. I seen that. That went viral on the internet. You was on the stretch, all kind of shit. Uh, was that a life or death moment? Exactly. Where yeah. did you get shot at, man? I got shot at my hip. Oh, in your hip? And it came out the middle of my chest. Oh, man, I didn't know it was that serious, man. I and then my foot, like, too. Oh, I thought this was like a hand shot. Yeah, well, so this was dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. 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 And that's that story that corporate told on Cam Capone, right? I was shaking corporate hand and we heard pow. We right. looked over, we thought it was fireworks. That second one hit the gate, bang. I said, oh shit, they shooting at us. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh shit, they shooting at us. Like, get out of there, pew. Yeah, you know, it's a famous comedian from Chicago actually told this story on the Yeah, that's my home. Yeah, that's he crazy. Cool. I fucking cool. You know, you went into a, a, a clothes. That bitch, I saw him. I was I was addressing him about the distance on he made about the steel and shit. Right. He like he hit me. Turn, turn around. Folks off that shit again. He hit me, he, he like, man, uh he telling me like, man, what the fuck you say? He yeah, you know Breezy was dissing my homies, so you know how this shit go, this rap shit. So I'm yeah, ooh, ooh. And in my head I'm like, yeah, ooh. ooh. I felt them though on, on on my kids, like this shit go back and forth. But I'm a real street nigga. He, we have no beef with him. Where's he from? Tim, what we, what Rico Reckless from? I don't know. What Rico Reckless from? I don't know. Shit. We have no beef with him. Like it was just the dissing he you did. did. I was in jail. I was fresh out too. They'll he tell you, like I didn't know him. He knows nothing like. I was googling and see. Right. And then after that, I just started trolling. Like fuck, dude. Ooh. You know. Right. But you it wasn't really shit. And to be honest with you, his son and his baby mom was with him. He, he had a little boy walked in the store like, Daddy, you ready? Oh, and you I, I said, whoa, He's I'm Steve nine. McGee, nigga. We was, my homie know was on some cloud chase shit, to be honest. I'm Steve. They was on, they was trying to, I'm no, nah, gang. I'm Lil Steve. I'm a player out here now for the little boy's rap. On my brother Gray here, I tell you, I asked him, I said, that's your son? I'm Lil Steve. I'm like, that's your son? He like, yeah. He looked just like him. Head shaped like him. I'm like, I ain't on that print. I got kids, fuck. I'm still. He weird as hell. I ain't on that, though. He weird. We ain't on that. Like, he just weird. We ain't on that, though, but, you know. Now, when you said that he got kids, that kind of go to my next question. You know, Memo, I have seen you on the internet aggressive as hell, you know, throwing shots at people, you know, being Memo sometimes. But you said something one day that went viral. I seen it on Chicago Wave, Squid Ape, a lot of blog sites. You kind of said, people need to slow down on that shit with Mama Duck, let her agree, you ain't got no distance for her. Where that come from, man, Mama? Yeah, I knew that was coming. Okay. Where that come from? Because that kind of threw me off a little bit, but I felt that. That was like some deep shit you said. Nah, my OG. Nah, oh, my God. I'm too much. You know, gotta get real deep, bro. I'm too <laughs> nah, my OG. Uh, I'm the oldest out of my OG kids. She had two boys, two girls. I'm the oldest, stay the youngest. I watched my mama cry, fall on the floor, more over her son being lost. And I be seeing a lady get on YouTube explaining herself to people that she don't have to explain herself to. Like I can see it in her eyes. Like I look at my OG all over again. Like when she lost her son, I know I don't. I lost a couple homies when I said that shit. Fuck them. They was not my homies anyway, you know? But not the mama, though. She ain't got shit to do with nothing. Was people in your DM telling you they was fucking with that statement? You had a lot of people. Yeah, I had a lot of people in my yeah. I, don't, I, don't listen. I don't give a fuck about that shit. They ain't like me before I said it. Don't like me now. That's my heart, you know? I always feel like that. I got a heart. If you didn't know that about me, then don't try to fuck with me because you know it now. You feel me? 
Yeah. You know, the internet portray you, Memo, is one way. It portray you as very aggressive. Because I'm like that, real aggressive. Bullyish. No, I'm not a bully. Not a bully. No. But the internet portray you as like How? Who do I bully? Name one time I bully someone. You know, I'm just going on with the internet. You the truth teller. You be all over Chicago. Okay. Hey, now the camera rolling on YouTube. Okay. I'm going to ask you questions. Okay. They're asking me. Okay. Who the fuck do I bully? I ain't never prayed on the week. Shark is a grown man, that nigga 200 some pounds. I didn't have a gun in my hand. I walked up to him and says, what I said, you know, we ain't gonna do all the extra shit. Right. I'm 150 pounds. I'm a little nigga, what's up? I'm still, I don't bully people, gang. And there still ain't no beef with him, I'm still. Just don't don't say my name, stop doing that shit, take your medicine, you will be cool. So you have seen the interviews and the, and the, and the I've videos. I've seen all that sorry. shit, man. People send me that shit cracking jokes to me, I hate that shit. You know, I'm That's gonna tell you something, shit. sir. I'm That'll get people hurt. Yeah. I be having a lot of shit going on in life, then you come with this shit, stop be cool, fam. But I don't do no hurting people, though. I've changed my life to a rap. You know what I'm <laughs> But no, nah, though, that's my homie, though. He cool, man. I ain't on that one. We just need to stop, stop that shit, you know? You know, I kind of want to pull your arm on that a little bit. When, when, that, when that happened, that wasn't, like, right there. Shark was out there for a little while before the camera hit his face. Yeah, because I told them cameramen to turn the camera off as soon as I saw, saw him. Right. Mm hmm And he know what I said to him. I want to commend you, though, man. I'm going to tell you something. Cause a lot of people going to get upset the truth and say this, but you had an opportunity to go viral for two years straight if you wanted to get on some crazy shit that day, you know? For what? That video would have went viral. I understand. I could I, I think you play up in that doing that. That's lame shit. That's my people. I, don't, I ain't going to humiliate my people. Um, you know? You not know exactly you my people, but you're on this side. Why would I make one look bad? We all look bad. Mm. Look at the, look at them over there, goofy as hell, whooping on each other for being snitches. Nah, I'm gonna let you mm. shank your own self, big dog. Ship, big dog. Sink your own ship, big dog. That was deep, though, because I think that, and you know, I want to tell you, though, a lot of people ain't said this, but you had an opportunity to clout chase and you didn't know. Yeah, um, you know. He I know. You for that. He know. You saw his face. He thanked to God, Jesus, I didn't. But I ain't know that, though. No, let me right. stop. I ain't even finna even let you put the cables on me. That's what you're trying to do. Nah, I'm gonna leave that alone. Yeah. <laughs> what about this rumors? I hear this thing on the internet. People say this. Now, this is not my sin, but people say this. And how do you feel about this? I'm hearing all these rumors. People say 600 fell off. Ooh, how? What do you say about that? How? How many views nobody probably just did in a month? <laughs> Right. How? Aquafina? <laughs> How? 600 is not just me. 600 is all those young famous. We got a lot of people rap. We got Taco. We got motherfucking Mook famous. We got mm. Killer. Famous, we got K way. Killer. We got a lot of motherfuckers that rap from 600. Mm. We ain't falling out Breezo. We ain't going nowhere. Long little cool. We're going to keep this shit going for him. Mm. He started this shit and we're going to keep it going. So he did. He, he yeah. was one of the pound the King Cool. That shocked you about Cooper, didn't it? I was in jail. That shocked me, because it seemed like he was a legend. He knew exactly. Things happen like that out here? Half, me in Chicago? Half the shit I know, I learned about music is through Coop. The other half is through Dirt. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I hear it's a guy named Huncho Little mm -hmm. from your area. Somebody told me you're a rap legend, too. He was rap, on God. Ago. rap God. Rap mm God. -hmm. You know, why don't a lot of people, I, I think 600 kind of like, in my opinion, I understand Pac-Man, but I think 600 was like the first people I seen in the drill coach, besides like Chief Keeper. Pac-Man started the drill coach and we just kept it going by the excitement and the youth. We kept the youth going with it like, and then right. it turned into some other shit when the rap beats got to getting too personal and I don't know what the fuck. They start, not us, but Chicago start running with our lyrics and shit and start going wild. But we didn't personally do nothing. Right. We just rapped. You know? You know, I got to ask you now, now, Memo, I got to ask you this. I got you in this camera. I got to be transparent with the fans. I'll give viewers, subscribers, and I even make money off the shit. So I got to be honest and reward them by being honest. Right. And tough on the person in front of this camera. Right. 
It's rumors on the internet that your chain got took. I'm looking at a chain right now. now. But it's rumors all on the internet. How did you feel when you seen those rumors on the internet like that? How long ago that was that said that happened? I want to say about what? A couple months ago? Couple months ago. You see this? You got scratches and all that on the back of it. You know? Look like it's old, right? It's the same chain. I don't know what they talking about. I got all my jewelry. I get on your nerves at the internet with all these stories about Memo 600, because they the internet be watching everything you do, Memo. They get on your nerves, keep you scared to get on live. You don't want to be on them shits like that, because they picking up everything. Yeah, I stay blocked off live, though. Mm -hmm. you know what? I don't do shit. What's that? What's that work? You know, that change shit was going all around the internet. People that's putting on twist That's because how they hearing it, they running with it a different way. Nah, big dog. Okay. Expose it. What happened to that video? Uh, they took it down. <laughs> Excuse me, the uh, CJ and his uh, his label, right. they had paid for the beat and got me on. Out of everyone, I, I still search this. Everybody's song is still up. Everybody's smoking except me and Vaughn's. That sound like it was some personal though. Mm. I always hit CJ up. He'll say what's up and never reply back though. Oh, so you had him up? Huh? You had him up? I got his number. I got his okay. number. That's that whoop shit, huh? Yeah. Mm. Then exposing me, is, did, did, did that create things, you know, because I seen a lot yeah, of Yeah, we made a, we made a trend with that shit, like, everybody remixed it, like, from mm -hmm. all over the world, Pop Smoke, him, CJ, we the first one, I was actually the first to make it, I sat down in my house one day, 3 o'clock in the morning, on House Arrest Fresh, had to jail, wrote that shit, bam, made my song, mm -hmm. Vaughn got out, wanted to rap, he hopped on that bitch with me, and we went over the moon with it. Mm -hmm. Facts. You know, when I heard exposing me the first one with you, I'm not gonna lie, Memo. I was surprised you spit like that on that shit, you know? Yeah, you write your own rap, Memo? I don't write. Yeah. I'll punch in now, I like freestyle. And that come out of your head? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's crazy. Right. We didn't see the exposing me shit, though. You know, we seen the other rappers. You came out You came out of nowhere with that exposing me. Yeah. Whatever I'm going through at the moment, I just. Did you inspire King Brown a little bit? Uh, I think so. I think we inspired each other because he always told me, like, <laughs> funny as hell. He used to tell me, like, man, mm -hmm. oh, oh, I need you to teach me some of them dance moves. I'd <laughs> be on stage dry as hell. I need to learn how to do that. I, that little dance I used to do. He used to be like, man, you got to teach me how to do that. Boy, I used to cry and laugh and watch them try to do it. But, but yeah, uh, I inspired him a lot, and he inspired me a lot. We all inspired each other. Dirk, Buka, I watched everybody, and they watched me. We all watched each other. Like, Smurf used to tell me I got a lot of catchy hooks. Right. And I stuck with that shit ran with it. I got a lot of advice from him. I, got, I know they got advice from me, that, you know? Right. I'll say it, though. I'll, I'll be proud to say it. Hell yeah. How was King Von off the camera? You know, because the camera got him. You know, it's Same so way on camera. Huh? Same way on camera. Same way on camera. Same way on camera. No difference. He yeah. wouldn't even know the camera was rolling. Right. But it'd be a whole movie, a whole video shoot. He wouldn't even know another be him. He did have fun moments. The internet kind of always so, seemed to pick up his aggressive moments. He yeah. did have fun. That's because that's what they looking at. Right. That's how he came out. Is, but they don't know the other side of him. Like, you know? Cool. Right. Yeah, he kind of blew real fast in this shit, you know. I think his name's He was hungry go for it. He used to tell me, eat, sleep, shit, breathe this shit. Don't stop. Don't let it. You know? He wasn't rapping. He said, I dream back. about rap. He said, I dream about this shit, me, mom. I swear to God. Uh, yeah. He said, I dream about this shit in my sleep. I rap. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He got me on the toilet just. Ooh. You didn't see him getting this big, did you? Um, you didn't see that bitch, man. Yeah. Are oh, you seen that? Yeah, I actually did. Mm -hmm. It was one point in time after that, uh, you felt it. I had made exposing me, right? Bam, the first mm -hmm. he told me, like, come on, bitch, drop another hit. And he, mm -hmm. I think he made war that war. Mm -hmm. He telling me, like, bitch, drop another hit. You ain't gonna live off that step, uh, off that, uh, exposing me. You ain't gonna live that mm -hmm. one song. Ain't gonna I now I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, he just shitted on me telling me this shit. Mm -hmm. Now I thought for like a week, mm -hmm. guess what I come out with. Stop us. Stop. I'm in the stool the whole time. Like, I got this bitch now. Mm -hmm. Look, we get to the, uh, now I get to play a step. See, guess what I got? Mm -hmm. 
Boo, he played crazy story. I say, oh, we got the ass on stage. We fucked him up. I dropped Stabbers, he dropped crazy story. Fuck the world up. Yeah. Fuck them up. We dropped that shit around and say, fuck them up. Yeah, that was that was that's, it. That's my boy. He always used to talk shit to me to make me go hard. Oh, I swear to God. Oh. You know, I got another question I want to ask you now. I'm gonna ask you this question. Yeah, this is a line straddle. I wasn't gonna ask this, <laughs> but I'm gonna ask this because I got you in this chair. Now, this is the question I'm gonna ask you, Nemo, without being policey. But I'm gonna ask you this question. Uh, I don't play with no guns. So I don't. <laughs> Won't um, hang around with people, play with guns. <laughs> I don't do nothing but smoke marijuana on my free time and rap. Uh, That's it. I don't do none of that. I don't sell drugs. Folks them like to crack jokes all day. They was joking that interview. <laughs> he, he, I don't do nothing. You heard me say what? I'm talking about what? <laughs> Fuck yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Fix that, boy. Fix that shit, boy. You know, in the drill culture, you got things as rappers. <laughs> Producers, beat makers. Now you got interviewers and bloggers. You know, you kind of said some mean stuff to an interviewer in Chicago. And which one was it? A sixteen shot at bitch. Oh, was that internet or was that real? And is that something we can get? No, nah, man, sixteen. Like actually, sixteen was the first. I think he was the first person I ever gave an interview to. When I first came up with a dirty nappy head and little motherfucker. Like that little Come on, man. Be quiet, man. Don't get to doing right. that for I'm trying to be respectful. Oh. Be cool. Look. Right, Keep good. that, too. But look, I'm uh, one of the first niggas I met, though. I invite him to one of the spots, too. This ain't no hotel, no. I'll check it out. I'm fucking with you. Come here. I don't give a fuck who you tell. They gonna get fucked up. Come on. Bam, but he cool. up. Ooh, interview with me. So... See how how you ask me questions. I'm going off how you. I see how you ask questions, so I see how you ask the next nigga a question. Bam, he tell me like, yeah, I'm gonna uh, ask you these questions. Then I'm gonna get into the woo woo part. I say, look, before he even seeing all this, I had it. You see how you got a paper right there? Mm -hmm. I had a paper before he even got there. Look, mm -hmm. don't ask me about him, 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 or that. I swear to God, he was like, that's the whole interview. I swear to God, I was like, man, you got me fucked up. You tried to send me to jail. Look, though, uh, bam. So, what long story short, we did the interview. It was cool. He did a cool, cool interview. Bam, the nigga, I see other niggas' interviews. Other niggas that he was trying to get me to talk about. They all dissing me. So, in my head, it's like you targeting me. But me being a hot head, you know me. You know, I'm being a hot head, I go aggressive with it just when I could have just took it to another way. Like, this is just a fucking blog, ignore her. Ooh. But me, I ain't with that shit. I hate when anybody even say my name type shit. Like, but that's little shit, though. Uh, you knew Young Dog. Was that, a, was that a record that you put together, or it's a relationship with you and Young Dog? Me and Young Dog was in the studio when he did his verse. That's crazy. We rolled through a line of tanks. Uh, I got a few more questions. I ain't gonna hold you too long, Memo. But I do want to ask you this. And I think this is a million dollar question, that Memo. Are you still signing to OTR? Is you on your own? What you got going on? I'm an independent artist right now, man. Mm. Memo, Steve Dry, pushing this 10, 600 shit, man. Y'all know what's going on. So you to the point where you want to try to do it and bring your own self right now? Can you ask me that over? You to the point now where you want to brand your own self now? Yeah, yeah. Me and my team. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's smart. Are you going to get some artists though or are you just doing 600? I got artists. Oh, you do got artists? Yeah. Okay, I so. I got artists. Tall T, he out of Memphis. I got Star Money, he out of Joliet. Tyro, Tyro. So you is doing the business here? For sure. Okay. Yeah, that's most definitely. Uh, I think I seen you on Four Shooters. Wasn't that you on Four Shooters? Yeah. Yeah. I think your shit, you got one of them high view videos on that shit, on yeah. that four shooter shit. Yeah. yeah. Man, I think you taking this shit serious. I think, me personally, man, I think you big, but I do think you should be way, way I'm big. underrated. I wasn't pushed enough. Yeah. Yeah. I saw the was. Yeah. You think that's what it was? Just yeah. had that, that, that right push? I know that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So a label, you would sign a deal, though? A label yeah, came to you? Yeah, album deal. Yeah. yeah. What if somebody offer you a deal? It depends on what they're talking about. A couple million, a couple hundred thousand. No. A couple hundred thousand? I got that my own self. Yeah. I see a couple hundred thousand though, Memo. I, might I got, got that myself. Right. So you need a bigger number. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. My man said a couple hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. I hear it. I'm like, he said you gonna run around. Let's see, this the motherfucking kidnappers. Right, most definitely. Nah, I'm with you on that. Uh, last thing I want to ask you, Memo, if it's possible. Can you tell us, you know, I normally don't do this a lot, but I started doing this again. Can you tell us an exclusive story about the drill culture that we might not know? Because you know a lot of legends, and you're legend yourself. Can you tell us a story about L.A. Capone we might not know? A story about one of these guys we might not know? Uh, How was he? Was he, like, because like, I hear his flow. I hear a lot of people trying to rap. I like it was silly. He was silly as hell. He'll, he'll, he'll fry you. Fry, in our words, man, like roast you. Right. To your ass cry. And he was silly. he like slap you and run and shit like that. Well, it's a couple people, man. We all, it's a lot of memories, man. We, <laughs> so much shit. Lil Boo. Lil Boo. Motherfucker. Stello. That's a lot of motherfuckers. That's Stello the Great, right? Yeah. Right. I hear a lot about Lil Boo. Damon. Yeah, a, a lot of internet videos on the internet about them guys. You know, it's it's, it's bad videos too. You know, shit about people got ninety bodies, eight hundred bodies. Look, bro, that shit be all Cat off. Right. Of, yeah, that shit all off some internet. What we think? Cause oh, we see him with. Chief Keith or more or Lug Dirt right. more, that means he the one that's catching the body. <laughs> no, certain people don't get along, so you're not going to see them right. with them. That don't mean that I see a lot of niggas with niggas that's fucking basketball players, and they think, oh, he with him, he killed Tuka. Get your group ass out of here. We don't, the world don't know who the fuck killed Tuka. How the fuck you call such? You know, you on a song, though, that got his name on it, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people ain't like that song. What song? Yeah, I don't really want to repeat it, but I think it's called Tukey Two. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what we call weed. Look, that's what we call the strength of weed. So that it was hot back then. So that's why we said it like that. Like, it wasn't like oh, we claiming no shit. No hell no. So that's what we call Tuka. We was calling it Tukey Two. Riding with the crew, smoking Tukey Two. No, smoking Tuka shit. And the world saying, the white people saying, it's still smoking Tuka. You know. I hear that one no subliminal took about that thirty years. Then uh, <laughs> I hear you most definitely. Man, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to talk to you, man. No disrespect to Tuka neither, man. I ain't know nothing neither, man. Mm. I know his parents too. I'm still. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. That's crazy. Man. All of us came from the projects, yeah, man. Right, right, right. Now, look, this is this the truth. What the y'all bloggers do not know. Okay. All our parents know each other. We all from the projects. Oh. They knocked, they took the projects down, gave all our parents Section A, and everybody branched out on these blocks and shit. And we all grew up together as kids and cousins. Did you, all my cousins moved over there on Edward and now he GD. Uh, we moved over here on King Drive, now we BD. But our mama's still in Cahoots, and we, you know, now, now our, they kids growing up killing each other and all that type. Not. Not saying ah like us, right, like, right, that was the saying. world. That's right. Chicago. They fuck Chicago. Fuck Chicago. Nah, the niggas. You, know, you got a video where you went back to your old neighborhood. That's the video with Shark. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of cringed a little bit. Man, I was just out there before that. Mm -hmm. I always go home. What the fuck? That ain't nothing new, y'all. That's that safe what y'all know. That's what y'all blogging about. Me we just went back home. I'm mm -hmm. always at home. Y'all just don't be knowing all the time. What you got a face card? Ain't that kind of dangerous? Man? Hell, what the fuck? I'm born and raised right here. This is my block. Oh, shit. We say, we say, we say, we say I feel safe out there in that house. But the internet, you know, maybe it's just the internet. That's the, the internet. internet. Oh, look, look, I swear to God, I wish I could have took you on my block to do this. Yeah. You would have been the safest motherfucker in the world. Yeah. Fuck somebody. That internet something else, though, man. <laughs> that internet nigga like, man, look. Look, this man sitting right here met me. He done heard all the shit in the world about it. Yo, this man is a... Yeah. He like, this uh, man cool. Man. I ain't gonna lie. When I, I, I put it through my blog, through my blog friends, I said, I was gonna get the opportunity to interview Memo. They said, no, don't do it. <laughs> they said, don't do it. Don't get in the room with him. He's aggressive and shit. I said, I'm gonna do it then since y'all said that, man. Yeah, man. We ain't blackballing over here, man. I appreciate speaking to you, man. I think this was a dope ass conversation. Sure. You know, um, I get an opportunity again, man. I'm gonna try to contact you in the month or something, man. Try to see if I can get a part two after, man. Well, I know, just hit me, man. I'm here for y'all.
appreciate all that little positive shit she was saying. That's why I reached out to you. I appreciate that. It was once upon a time you you wasn't too I friendly. I usually don't hit so I don't do blog shit. I don't right. do that shit. Only motherfucker I really yeah. just just start really liking back in was rap catch up. Cause they you know right. ain't like I talk to them but I like they shit to comment. I right. see you, you get a conversation. Like, look, man, don't believe, don't put no police shit on me on no internet. Facts. None of that shit, bro. Facts. I think this That's conversation going to end all this shit. Yeah. Most That's definitely. All. I appreciate it. What's all your social media? What can people find you? Yeah. M E M O F R M 060 at yahoo.com. That's the new backup page. I should be on my old page back soon. Okay. Uh, what about all the other sites that you don't do the TikTok shit? I got Twitter. Yeah, I got got them a Twitter cap Steve Drive Memo. Capital S, Capital D, Capital M. Steve Drive Memo. You're not fucking with the TikTok? I got a TikTok, but that's just for my kids. Okay. Uh what about YouTube? People subscribe to that YouTube yeah, channel. Don't man. subscribe that y'all know what's going on. Memo says so subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. Uh huh. Subscribe to that channel because Memo got a project he gonna be dropping anytime. And he erratic, so he might drop it and you don't know. So you gotta subscribe today, automatically. I drop like so, so you don't know when it's coming. Uh huh. I appreciate speaking with you, Memo. For sure. It's the homie True Teller the Street Reporter. Sure. Uh, that was love, Memo. I